there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this video I'm going to teach you how to play, um, I'm going to call the short version of Linus and Lucy, which I think is Peanuts theme from Charlie Brown, which I think is also called the Christmas song as well. So this has been a requested one um, and I've taught this to students, uh, private students of mine in the past. So if you're interested in accessing the sheet music of this arrangement, I've linked that in the description below, so that's via my Patreon, amongst loads of other sheet music as well. So basically the short version cuts out the rather large um, like solo sections. So it's just what you heard in the preview, plus this bit, and then the ending of the original as well. So I've sort of just condensed it because the solo sections would just make it a nightmare to teach on here and um, it ultimately makes it a little bit more tricky as well. And I think most people, based on how I've taught it before, mainly just want to learn the main section. So that's what we're going to do today. So if you're brand new here, welcome. My name is Francesca and I'm the teacher of here on Bite Size Piano. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Maybe you've seen a few of my videos and haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, hit the notifications bell um, and you'll be notified every time there is a new thing to learn. I do take piano tutorial requests, so this was a request. If you would like to know how to leave one, watch to the very, very end of the video um, where there are specific instructions on how to do that. Like the video if you enjoy it and that it's been useful. And thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon so far. So this one is in the key of A flat major. So on the screen now, above are all of the notes of the scale of A flat major. The song and the chords, the melody are mostly formed using these notes, but with it being uh, jazz, um, it will stray a little from the key signature. So the scale of A flat major is this. <laughs> So it's four flats, it's going to be a little heavier on the black notes. So we're going to look at the main section first, which makes up the bulk of the song. And I'm going to teach it to you in the order of the sheet music, and then I'll do a slow playthrough at the end, but a slightly different camera angle, uh, just because I'll struggle to play at this angle uh, with the camera literally here. So we're going to start with the left hand. You do need a full length piano for this one. So the it starts on a very low A flat, so the lowest A flat on, the, on an 88 key piano. So you have quite a wide spread hand position. Um, so the first part in the left hand, and this is what the left hand is doing most of the way through. So we're going A flat, E flat, A flat, A flat, E flat, A flat, A flat, and then E flat. repeats that again so I just that was obviously not in any rhythm that was just showing you the notes if I just play that without talking slowly so you can hear the rhythm That's the intro, which is just the left hand, and then continues uh, three more times before it changes, but we'll go over that bit shortly. So we're going to have a look at the right hand to that part now. There are different fingers you could use, I'll give you some suggestions for the right hand, but I'm comfortable with keeping a wide hand position. So the first chord is an A and an A flat, so this is middle C. So you're starting on middle C and A flat. And I'm using my 1 and 3 to play that. And then I'm going to use my 2 and 4 to play E flat 
and B flat. So we have, and then I'm going to use my five and three to play A flat and C. So they're the main chords that you need. So you like alternating fingers. So he's going back and forth. So that's the first bit, I'll do that again. So some alternative fingers you could use is still maybe one and three, and then maybe one and four, and then still three and five. You just won't be able to play it as smoothly. So that's an alternative finger there. So I'm going to put that section really slowly, hands together. So this is a fairly tricky one in terms of coordination of putting this one together because it has lots of tied notes in it. So I'm going to do my best to play it slowly, as clearly as I can. So together, that will be played like this, so very slowly. First bit again. And then the next bit goes. So I join those two parts together. Last little bit. And then that starts again. Then it's into this next bit here. So the left hand is going to come up to B, F sharp and B and do the same pattern. And then a second time it changes, the B changes to an A flat. The right hand to that part is just playing E flat and A flat, and then E flat and B flat twice. So I'll just play that together. And then it goes back to the original position in the left hand, and the right hand is going to play. the same chords we've been using and that fits together like this and then it starts again from here so I'm going to continue and I'll play it from the beginning until we get to this next section
sorry about the fly. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna play it from the beginning all the way what we've done so far until, and the next part we're gonna look at is the. Okay, so I'm just gonna play it from the beginning now, slowly. what it sounds like so far and now we have this so in the left hand all you're going to do if you can is play D flat and F and then we have three D flat octaves and then up to E flat once so in this section that's all the left hand is doing it does that three times be then back into so the right hand we're going to play all the way up here so I think so no, it's only just in shot we have um, a, basically a D flat major chord full chord so it's D flat F A flat and D flat so you're going to play that three times and then I know the top note is out of shot, but you have E flat, A flat, E flat once. So that's going. So with the left hand, that would be like this. And then in between that bit, the right hand is going, I'll just play it for you first. What's going on there? <laughs> Um, is you're going to play E flat and A flat once and then you're basically going to play F and A flat twice so back to E flat and then F twice E flat F twice E flat so this is the basic way to play it But what's actually happening is before you go into the F and A flat, it's playing a very quick E natural. So like this. And there's different ways you can use, of fingers you can use. I'm going to use two and four and then one and one to three and four and I found that's the best fingers for me but you might want to have a explore and see which fingers will be best for you or if you don't want to add that E flat in there it will still sound absolutely fine just going that would still sound good so it's only a very subtle change so if I play that section now, because that's all that's going on, the left hand isn't doing anything with that part. So if I play it slowly from here. Flat, and the right hand comes down 
and holds this chord down. And then it carries on like it does from the beginning once. I'll just keep playing. And then we're going to look at the outro. So you're going to play just a single A flat. Um, and this is when it's going to become a little bit more awkward for me to film. So I'm going to do my best just to teach it to you now. So I was going to teach you that now, hands separately. So we've just got this like run. Um, so the right hand is going to play E flat, B flat, C, and then again an octave higher, E flat, B flat, C, and then almost an octave higher again, we have B, uh, A flat, B flat, and then we have D instead of C, and then you're going to play A flat and C, E flat and B, C and A flat, and then it kind of stays there for the rest of the song. So I'll just do that again, in the right hand. And then it does that three more times. No, two more times. So the left hand to that part is going to play C, E flat, a flat, C, and then again an octave higher, E flat, A flat, and then again an octave higher, C, E flat, A flat, and then E flat, C. And it'll come down and play that E before it goes back into this get again. I'll just do that again. So I'm going to play that section for you now, as best as I can, um, to the very, very end, so you can see how it ends. So it just ends on that low A flat there. Uh, so now I'm going to slowly play the entire thing through for you. So you can see how it fits together, but I'm still gonna do it at a slow pace, but it'll be at a slightly different camera angle so I'm able to play it properly without any interruption of my tripod. <laughs>
tutorial. I hope that you have enjoyed it and that it's been useful. In order to request a piano tutorial, you do need to be subscribed and you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. All requests are noted and considered. Make sure to hit the notifications bell because your requests could be coming up soon. I will see you in the next one.